Merry Christmas indeed. You gotta love it when an American broadcast television network and a comedy institution like Saturday Night Live takes a swipe showing how much of a B Meghan Markle is. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. We got to talk about these Christmas cards, and I want to talk about the joke last night on Saturday Night Live where they did take a swipe at Meghan Markle, and I love it because I love more of these networks and comedy shows calling out Meghan for the B word that she is because I genuinely believe this joke. Here it is. A Christmas photo released by the royal family features a bad Photoshop job where Prince Louis's finger appears to be missing. Now, we are going to break that down. Also got to offer commentary here because Saturday Night Live is litigious. But here's the, uh, here's the punchline. And this is sweet. Meghan Markle said she has a finger they can use if they need it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, so she's so sweet. She's so sweet. Uh, I love it. I love it. Now, uh, yeah, because that's what she does. She's, give, she's been giving the middle finger to the royal family forever. And to see Saturday Night Live, NBC... Just calling it for what it is. Uh, I, I love it. I think this is beautiful. The more we can expose Megan for her tro the tro atrocious uh, behavior and vendettas, the better. Now, we do have to talk about these. Uh, tell me what you think of that, pa that joke down below as well. Uh, we do have to talk about this Photoshop. Is it a Photoshop? Is it just his fingers super spread and he's got some... I, I think it's that. Because, look, if you actually do it, I got mine looks like there could be a finger missing too, just based on how it is. And if he's a little bit more double jointed in that area, uh, maybe just the placement of his fingers was just odd. That's what I think. I don't think there was a Photoshop job because I, I, I some people are saying there's three legs. I, I don't see that. That's his leg there. You can see here, and you see the leg here behind his dad's leg. I, I, that's where there's some question. Uh, you see her leg. I think they're around each other. Um, I, I, I can't see the third leg thing, but regardless, uh, you'd think they would have noticed uh, if they really did some Photoshop. I think they took the photo. I'm like, oh, that's great. All right, I like that one. Um, and it's a shame because, yeah, they're now getting a lot of flack online and how embarrassed they are of all this talk. And for the poor kid who's now it seems has he has mutant fingers, I don't know. Uh, but I think it's fine. The truth, though, is let's keep it honest. If Megan had this photo and one of those kids had a bad Photoshop on his hand, we'd all be saying fake baby, fake baby, fake baby. So uh, sometimes it's just an accident. Let's keep it real. And I think it's a nice photo and I, I'm not buying that they tried to Photoshop his hand. Why? I, I genuinely, as I, as I did it, I think certain uh, fingers, if you're, if you're, especially if you're stretched out over something, it really just looks like he's missing a finger there, which is unfortunate. You'd think someone would have caught that, but I, I'm not as I'm not as embarrassed by this photo as just a kid having their finger as I am by Megan and Harry's photo. And I wanted to go through their Christmas card because here it is. Them, of course, oh, on behalf of the office, the office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Archwell Productions and Archwell Foundation. Oh, we wish you a very happy holiday season. Thanks for all the support in 2020. Three, And there it is. And they, this clicks to the impact report of Archwell, which we've gone through and it obviously pointed out this is nothing. It's silly. But a lot of comments are saying, well, why didn't they have the kids? And I, and I got to I got to wonder that now last year's photo I went through. I'm gonna, we're going to go through all the years. Last year's photos also didn't have the kids wishing you a joyful holiday from our friends from the Archwell Foundation audio productions. We wish you health. They're clearly trying to spin their holiday cards into business instead of family, but I think that is not very smart because previous to that, it used to be, here's 2020, happy holidays from the family. And yeah, there was little bit's introduction with Archie. Uh, we welcome our daughter, my, my papa, Lily made us a family. We look forward to 2022. We've made donations and on behalf of several organizations that honor and protect families. I wish they would just do that instead of this whole Archwell nonsense from being located, yada, yada. And here's sort of the things they they helped with. Um, as ever, Harry, Meghan, Archie, and, and Lotus, no, no Duchess of Sussex, no Prince Harry, just Harry and Meghan. Can they just become Harry and Meghan? And here we go. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. A picture from Dora, uh, Doria, sorry, from her mom. And uh, like stylized, look nicely with, nicely with Archie. Again, family. And then here was the first one they did with Archie again the year prior from our family years. This was the first introduction to Archie. And it's a cute photo. This feels real. It's cute. Uh, it's like, hey, here he is. And uh, I know a lot of people are like, that doesn't look like them. Regardless, let's give them the benefit of the doubt for a moment. 
this is what it should look like, guys. That's where I'm just confused. Embracing the family, maybe making it a little stylized so you don't exactly see them. Harry and Meghan, these, this was the better years. But now, it's the Duke and Duchess, Prince Harry and Meghan. The Duke and Duchess, Prince Harry, the Duchess of Sussex. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan. They really, really do require those titles. And I think that is going to be their downfall. They are so reliant on the titles, but not the duty, not the loyalty, not the actual royalty. They just want to be known as these titles, but not do any of the work. And as we're learning, I, I think Archwell is in a deep, 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 deep trouble. What, what else do they have to sustain this brand? They can't. And so this whole photo of them, uh, we're so important. Look at us in this crowd at Invictus Games. Yay. It's just so self-serving and gross to me. If you're going to do it about you, if this is about you, then make it about your family. At least give us something about the family. Or at least show like the veterans of Invictus Games if you're so proud. Look what we accomplished. So proud of all these people. Be more, have some more selflessness, right? Empathy for the what you did. But no, let's, it's all about us applauding. Yes, we are here to show up and do good. That's our mantra. Oh, it's just, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm more embarrassed by this, these fake titles that they're trying to make them seem like there's some big charity foundation and charity. I, I just don't buy it. I don't buy it. And you guys did not do as well this year. And you should have just gone back to the family but you won't. I, I don't know why. Now, if you go back to uh, um, William and Catherine, you know, here was the sort of the first, I guess this was the first uh, card showed them in Ottawa. And then we had one introdu in introducing Prince George, which was, you know, nice royal portraits. <laughs> That's an adorable photo as they should. And then they, they went more casual. Um, and this was the last one with George by himself. And then introducing Charlotte. This was a 2015 and again, more casual. They went out to the park and got a nice photo, or their backyard, I guess. They don't have, they don't have parks. They just have yards. <laughs> the royal life. 2016. Here they are again, which is looking just again casual. Uh, and then 2017, much more formal with the, uh, you know, whole whole crew. And then there we go. Uh, introducing baby Louie. Uh, it, a nice looks like outside. Looks casual. Looks real. I like this this style. These photos. Granted, they have a photographer doing it, but still, it's like it, it looks more realistic. And here it was 2019. Um, uh, again, the kids look adorable. Everyone just looks nice and classy and casual and real, which you know you don't wouldn't think the royals would, but it just feels nice. These all this is what a family Christmas card should look like. Here's 2020, and then here's 2021 as the kids are growing. Um, they nice they put themselves. This was on a trip to Jordan. And their summer gear, they chose like a nice family snapshot. Uh, and here was last year's as they're walking through. Uh, it just correct me if I'm wrong. Which family feels, even if you go to the fake one with the fake fingers, I mean, all of it just feels more real and family driven. And I just connect to it then. Ah, look at all the charity that we do. Ha ha ha. Oh, yay. We're so good. Just go back to the family stuff. This is way better. It's a way better approach. But I think they won't because everyone's saying they're fake kids. And I, I just don't believe that narrative, guys. I don't know why we keep going there. It's just, if you're going to go fake kids, then call out the fake. Look, oh my God, look, he's got a fake kid now. It's a fake kid. Look, were, were there surrogates involved? Potentially. But do I believe these two human children exist? I do. I do. And I think because we keep saying they're fake, it's it's it makes us look a little crazy. And yeah, now they're going to try to use that as the excuse as to why they're not just being human beings. And uh, yeah, no, just stop being afraid of the fans. Show a family photo. Because again, the lack of family photos is only going to encourage that debate. And then maybe there's some truth to it. After the other, they're, they're like, it seems like they're fueling it. In fact, that's probably why it's they're going to say it's because they're afraid of that whole Sussex baby scam squad, whatever. But the reality is they're only encouraging it, which then allows more. And then they can paint it as crazy. It's just an endless cycle. I totally know, think they you know what they're exactly what they're doing. Uh, and I despise it. I don't despise it. You know what I say? I say, yes, this, that's what I say to you, Megan. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the Christmas cards? what do you think of the joke? Uh, got me on a weekend to do all this. We got, cause we got so much more to do next week. I will see you on Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for all alerts. And leave a comment down below. We got a lot of stuff in the works. You're not going to miss it. 
Uh, can't wait to show you our 12 guests of Christmas coming soon and so much more here on Popcorn Planet and Popcorn Palace.